If you're ready to do math today and you have your coffee ready, join me in the simultaneous sip. The question we're working on today is, show that the sequence defined by a1 equals 1 and a n plus 1 equals 3 minus 1 over a n is increasing and a n is less than 3 for all n. Deduce that the sequence a n is convergent and find its limit. Smash that like button and let's get started. So in order to use the monotonic sequence theorem, we need to show that our sequence is first increasing or decreasing, and then we need to show that it's bounded above or below, depending on increasing or decreasing. So we'll start by showing that our sequence is increasing. And the way we do that is we use induction. We need to show that it's increasing from A1 to A2, which we could clearly see it is. And then we're going to assume that, it's, that A sub K is less than A sub K plus one, and we're going, to, we're going to show that this implies that a sub k plus 1 must be less than a sub k plus 2. Okay, so we're using induction here. So if a sub k is less than a sub k plus 1, well, now what we want to do is we want to manipulate this until we get to the form of a sub k plus 1 is less than a sub k plus 2. So we'll multiply both sides of the inequality by negative 1, and notice that, that flips the inequality. And then we'll take 1 over each side, so that flips the inequality again. So we have negative 1 over a sub k is less than negative 1 over a sub k plus 1. And then we could add 3 to both sides. And so we have 3 minus 1 over a sub k is less than 3 minus 1 over a sub k plus 1. This left-hand term is a sub k plus 1. And the right side is a sub k plus 2. So we showed that our sequence is increasing. So a n is increasing. Now we want to show that it's bounded above. And since it's increasing, each term has to be at least 1, right? Our first term is 1 and the following terms are larger. So each term is at least 1. And the way we're going to show it's bounded above by 3, which was given to us in the question, is we're going to do a proof by contradiction. So we'll suppose that a n plus 1 is greater than 3. Well, that means that 3 minus 1 over a n must be greater than 3. Subtracting 3 from both sides means that negative 1 over a n is greater than 0, which implies that a n is negative. But we showed that a n has to be greater than or equal to 1. So this is a contradiction. So our sequence is bounded above by 3. And since we have an increasing sequence that's bounded above, the monotonic sequence theorem tells us that our sequence converges. It doesn't tell us what we converge to, though. So that's what we're going to do now. So we'll say x, we'll let x be the limit of our sequence, so what, what we converge to. So x is equal to the limit as n goes to infinity of a n. Well, it's also equal to the limit as n goes to infinity of a n plus 1. So we can rewrite an equation saying x equals 3 minus 1 over x. And now let's solve for x. We can multiply both sides of the equation by x to get x squared equals 3x minus 1. Bring all the terms to the left-hand side and hand this to your friend who's in sixth grade who knows how to use the quadratic formula, and they'll be able to solve this for us. We get x is equal to 3 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2, but we're going to only take the plus term because we, want, we, we know our sequence is going to converge to something larger than 1. So x is equal to 3 plus square root of 5 over 2. Another way, another way to say this is our sequence converges to 3 plus the square root of 5 over 2. Make sure to subscribe for more Coffee and Math with Dr. Wesselcouch. Don't text and drive. Bye-bye.